Hey guys, Beast here, and I wanted to go over some more VanQuest gear. Uh, in front of you is an isopod in small. Uh, they do come in multiple sizes. This is a medium. Uh, for those of you that are more used to some of the terminology maybe Maxpedition uses, uh, it's called a roly-poly in a Maxpedition, and this would be their medium is closest to their standard roly-poly. Uh, the roly-poly mini uh, would be closer to the VanQuest small um, in, in terms of size. Uh, the small, we'll show some size examples later, but uh, will hold basically a Nalgene. Um, their medium uh, will hold six or seven AR magazines. And most of you guys, are that's probably what you're going to use them for on your plate carriers. But they are fairly handy for, you know, uh, collecting tinder along a hike, uh, water bottles, uh, cameras. Uh, this guy here I actually use for my camera case. We'll get into it in a little bit. Um, but if you watch my VanQuest, um, their Javelin Pack review, um, I was very impressed with some of their... Um, their iterations of a tactical pack and I was a little disappointed with their isopods because they're really no different than any other. Uh, they are built very well. Um, they're right up there with the top quality as I mentioned in the pack review. Um, we had no issues and what I did basically was I was using these isopods more so the small than the medium um, as basically a durability test. Uh, we ran this on uh, engine crew and uh, my one of the guys on my truck uh, basically used this every time he put it on his belt and he would carry around um, hose equipments, uh, spanner wrenches, uh, nozzles, gates, uh, extra Ys, or sometimes just a couple of bottles of water. If you guys aren't familiar with how these work, uh, pull strap here. Generally, uh, there is some pals. You can attach this to a bag this way. There is this cl clip on top here, which is a, uh, a UTX. It's a Duraflex, very nice quality but it's designed to uh, go into any one inch webbing and hang there if you don't want to actually hook it up there. But primarily this is gonna be attached uh, to a belt. There is a belt loop here behind that. It'll be easier to show when I unhook it here. Um, however, if you're unfamiliar with how these work, you pull the Velcro up, the pouch unrolls and unfolds, and now you have basically a big dump pouch. Uh, there is some Velcro here so you can get some actual closure to the outside if you're actually gonna be carrying it as such. There is also hook and loop on the inside so that if you don't want the clap or the flap closure in your way, uh, you can close that up and there is a cinch and a toggle. Uh, they do add their retention to there so it can be a one-handed operation, which is nice. I do like that feature. Um, it doesn't take two hands to pull the toggle and hold it and to cinch it up. Uh, there is a drain hole in the bottom. As you can see, there's a little bit of paint worn off there, but we had absolutely zero issues with this. And uh, if you guys have seen, um, you know, it's not the most friendly uh, environment uh, for gear and nylon and things of that nature. Uh, but there's the pass-through, fairly good size. We were able to get, uh, we use like a GI old school uh, belt system and uh, like an Alice belt for wildland fire it just holds our, our shelter packs a lot easier for engines but uh zero issues with this guy and you're looking at basically identicals for the medium um we'll get into size here uh, generally one of my guys would carry two 16 ounce uh, water bottles and there's no problem getting that put in there plenty of extra room um, definitely will hold a nalgene with plenty of room, it's not very tight fit. Um, so, you know, you've got, a lot of guys will run, you know, like a nesting cup. Uh, here's actually a multicam poncho, but a lot of guys will take the titanium nesting cups and you'll kind of make a system out of it. Um, it you don't really have to struggle. There's plenty of extra room uh, inside of that. So, uh, I carry the camera, we're recording this on, on an OtterBox. A lot of times I'll have this on my pack and this will just be a quick access to this OtterBox fits in here quite well. Uh, the medium uh, will hold six AR magazines uh, quite easily. In fact, it'll fit seven uh, in case you've got a full loadout of six uh, on your vest and uh, maybe one in your rifle and then you expend all of them. Um, but all the same features uh, using you know name brand Cordura, which I like. Um, it designed in the USA, but it is made overseas. I have to say uh, their sewing is impeccable. Um, it would be nice to see, you know, US manufacturers kind of 
beat their price point, but the, you know, it just isn't going to happen. Uh, these roly polies uh, do come in at a terrific price point uh, over some of their competition, say Max Position. Um, so for the quality that you're getting uh, for just a little bit lesser price um, and almost identical. Uh, the one thing I mentioned I was kind of disappointed was I was hoping they'd kind of kick it up a notch. Uh, other than having the toggle attached here, uh, they are very similar to other uh, roll up dump pouches. Now, in their own literature that they had sent me, uh, which is kind of hard to read, uh, they do mention that this should have a high visibility of the 210 uh, ripstop, which was, if you saw my pack review again, inside that pack was this bright orange high vis uh, liner, and it was really easy to see items inside of there. Uh, when I went to the website, that was removed from their isopods, so I think that was something they decided that wasn't worth uh, the effort. People weren't looking for that. Um, again, it kind of made them stand out in the pack review, so you can kind of take that or leave it. Uh, they do offer a padded version of this. Uh, it is not called the isopod, or also isopod. I will put their website down below so you guys can check them out. Um, these fold up really easy. There's really no effort. Uh, in getting these back to that smaller package but um, there is a padded version for a lot of photographers or anything maybe optics uh, binoculars anything you want protected in a similar sort of dump pouch fashion um, now on their website they do not show the padded version rolled up they only show it rolled out so i don't know how small they get that may be something you might want to look into but uh, this is beast for vanquist and uh, this is the isopod series. Thanks for watching, guys.